Hi, doll fans. Harvey Fialka of SunSentinel.com speaking to you from downtown Fort Lauderdale. Hey, if you guys like reality TV, well, welcome to the biggest losers this week as the 0-13 Dolphins take on the 4-9 Ravens, who have lost seven in a row themselves. Of course, they haven't lost 13 in a row, actually 16 in a row dating back to last year. That's 23 straight losses between them. Anyhow, Cam Cam looking to get that elusive first win. He's desperate, guys. He, he doesn't want to go down in history as the all-time worst first-year coach and with the worst team ever. And now we switch quarterbacks again. The carousel is still spinning from Trent Green to Cleo Lemon to John Back, back to Cleo. But you know what? It doesn't matter who the quarterback is, if it's Cleo or if it's Miss Cleo, who, by the way, is going to predict another loss, I'm sure. Hey, the Ravens also have quarterback issues. Steve McNair got old. He's on IR with Trent Green. And Kyle Bowler is fending off Ted Ginn's old Buckeye teammate, Troy Smith, Mr. Heisman, for some PT. And like the Fish, they've had a plethora of injuries. Both Pro Bowl corners aren't going to be playing this week. Chris McAllister out for the year. Samari Rowley's has got a shoulder injury. But they still have superstar linebacker Ray Lewis to rev them up. Uh, and they also have, of course, what you talking about, Willis McGahee, who has always killed the Dolphins, of course, when he was on the Buffalo Bills. One of the best running backs in the league. Hey, even if it's Willis McGahee or Willis Reed, the old Nick, limping on the court with one leg, Anyone could gain 100 yards on this Dolphins paper mache run defense, which may be without Channing Crowder again. Speaking of Reed, the Ravens' pass defense is still pretty sturdy. They got former Hurricane star Ed Reed, one of the best Pro Bowl safeties in the NFL. He's going to try and keep the Dolphins from throwing a touchdown pass for their sixth straight game. But there is a sliver of hope for Cleo. They have allowed 22 touchdown passes this year. That ties for fifth highest in the NFL. Hey guys, perhaps the Dolphins will draw some inspiration from the 72 Dolphins who will be on hand to commemorating the 35th anniversary of their perfect season. Hey, maybe Coach Cameron should use some of those guys. Get rid of Jesse Chapman and Sam Gingato. Put in Mercury Morris with Larry Zonk. I don't care how old they are, they're still going to be effective out there. While you're at it, I'll take Bob Greasy at quarterback at any age. I don't care if he's 60 on a walker. Hey, unless Don Shula spikes the Ravens' Gatorade with some Nutrisystem, I just don't see the Dolphins penetrating this tough Ravens defense. As for that first win, guys, coming against the Ravens, I say never more, never more. <laughs> Take the Ravens and under, way under. Harvey Fihaka of SunSentinel.com.